Well, basketball fans, well, before I get started, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, pretty much we're getting down to the end of the game. Heater up 113.94. Just the Heat took over. They made it happen. You know, they couldn't really be stopped. Just defensively, the Pacers weren't that good. You know, things happen. So pretty much the game's dwindling down. She was, you know, pretty much all the bench players. You got uh, Rashard Lewis, James Jones, Joel Anthony for the Heat. You got like Hansborough, Orlando Johnson or something like that for the Pacers. So pretty much the game's over. You know, the Heat, you know, pretty much came back from game two. You know, making it happen. So tonight, you know, hopefully the Heat can win game three and we can take it, um, you know, take the series in game five. But it was a good series. The Pacers did come to play, did try their hardest. You, know, you can't take anything away from them. It was just that the Heat were just a better team, you know. Now they were just they played better. There's nothing more you can say about it. But I'm just gonna let the clock run out. I don't know. So what do you think were the flaws in this game for the Pacers? What do you think the keys were to victory for the for the Heat? And what do you think's gonna happen in the game uh, game four? What do you think's gonna happen there? But anyways, this is the end of the game report or something or live reaction. Heat win. You know, I think the Heat have won every thing of five and zero on the road this season in the playoffs. They're five and zero. That's pretty good right there. Five and zero. They take the victory. You know, LeBron and D. get a nice little rest in the fourth quarter to get ready for a uh, game four. And well, that's it, guys. The Heat took it in. You should be good. But anyways, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out, guys. Peace.